Hey, 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 it's Bessie LB, and I am back again with another product review, but this time it is coming from Whole Foods, okay? So, you all know that Whole Foods have their own, you know, signature products that they make, and then there may be other brands, whatever may have you. I am actually doing a little taste tests on screen even though I've already tried them but I've saved one for you so you can have my full-on experience so you can visually see what they look like I know that's super important for you guys to take that in so I saved it and this is what we're reviewing today the white chocolate golden milk cups okay so they look like that that's a little close picture of the inside and they're made with white chocolate on the outside, but they're filled with almond butter, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, and black pepper. So when I first saw this, I love white chocolate, and that's initially why I got them, because I was like, well, anything made with white chocolate is probably pretty tasty. Now, I know you guys, guys may be thinking, well, oh, this, Bessie, this is just little chocolates. No, these little chocolates are made with some sort of love and care, right? Like, there's a difference when you go to stores and you get sugary things that you know is just made up a bunch of sugar and whatever other crap and you just enjoy it because it's like a sugar rush. These, and of course it's whole food, so we all understand that, right? These are made with some sort of extra care. And that's why I chose to review these, okay? So I don't want y'all to just turn y'all heads like, oh, she's reviewing some chocolates. Like, it's something about these chocolates. So stay with me stay with me okay so it says on the back here it's just the standard white chocolate however you make standard white chocolate that's the main ingredient there's the almond butter with dry roasted almonds honey non-fat milk powder etc then there is whey powder uh or whey whey powder uh whey powder something like that inside of here ground turmeric salt ground ginger a little oil and some grounded black pepper so I've heard of them putting like black pepper in certain things but I was a little worried with this being ginger turmeric and black pepper I was like mm, this might be like a little bit of a strong kick that I'm not looking for but baby it was something that I appreciated so let me get into showing y'all this they look like little a little small like little cup right um and it comes with this is a 4.7 ounce bag um I think I paid like three bucks or something like that for it and it comes with these little cups so I this is why I want to show you guys so you can really see you know exactly what it looks like so let's see if I can get it to focus here this is it got a little like golden color to it because it's turmeric and ginger right um and then if I bite in the middle It looks like this in the inside. So, you can see that golden kind of like look to it. And the reason why I love these so much, now that I'm having the last one and it's really tasty. One, it's white chocolate. I love white chocolate. But two, you get that really fine, grounded, smooth almond butter. I'm not... A big butter girl I don't typically love peanut butter um and I would kind of rather almond butter over peanut butter but the almond butter is so smooth it doesn't have any little grits or chunks of almond it's smooth but with the white chocolate you get that nice sweet but then you also get that like nice turmeric effect on your tongue then the lingering flavors is the ginger the little pinch of black pepper it sets it off really well because of being sweet and then having that little like nice little spice to it and then after that what else was inside of here some cinnamon so you get that hint of cinnamon which is another effect of sweet but the white chocolate balances so well guys with the almond butter ginger and the turmeric it's insane and the black pepper is just that nice little spice to it because you know normally you use probably like a nutmeg with like cinnamon during the holidays and then it gets like that little spice to it they did the black pepper instead y'all want her 
It's so good. It's so creamy. And it doesn't have that, uh, that garbage sugar. You know what I mean? Like, you know how when you taste, I mean, I'm, I, I hate to say this, but, you know, we go for Reese cups because they're just good. They're full of sugar and no one cares. There's more chocolate than peanut butter. You just eat them. But this has, like, richness inside of it. And for it to have those very strong spices, I was scared of it. But I want to say that they're perfect for the fall. I think I had got these in the beginning of fall, ending of summer. So I'm assuming maybe it is maybe a, a, a fall treat. Maybe they have it all year long. I'm, I'm not really certain. But... If you're interested in any of these ingredients, guys, I'm just saying you have to try them out. You have to try them out. I don't know how else to explain that these little chocolates is like delicate little chocolates. And they're not chocolates that you would just throw back like Reese Cups. They're those little chocolates that you kind of want to hold on to because they're they real rich. And I feel like if you eat one or two max, you'd be like, I'm good. I don't need anything else. I'm good. And you might not want to share them with people either. So get them and hide the little bag and keep them. Because these little babies are tasty. If you try them out, let me know what you feel about them. And I'd love to read your comments. Thank you.